hello my awesome fearless virgos virgos i missed you i'm smiling right now so happy to be back here with your fabulous energy virgos it's wednesday so virgo hang in there we almost on the weekend i'm so excited for us i love weekends for us virgo you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate first we're going to ask what's coming towards you what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is that you are thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this soulmate is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Virgo, especially in relation to you. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Virgo? What will Virgo be dealing with facing in the life? And how is Virgo currently doing on the soulmate journey? How is Virgo currently doing on the soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Virgo in the life? This one wants to come out very strongly, Virgo. Let's see. The moon card. Yeah, look at this. This is you. You've been waiting on some kind of communication. This is you. Uh, not sure if that communication is going to come in or not. Let me see. A lot of you are dealing with a Leo. Also Pisces, Cancerian. You see, you want so badly to initiate this important communication to you with your soulmate, but you're not doing it. You feel that it is their turn to initiate communication, to show you that, yes, they care. Yes, they can do it. So you are waiting for this person to initiate communication, to show you, yeah. See, you're moving on with your life, though. You, you're not putting your life on hold, which is the way to do it. It's okay to be patient with your person as long as you're not putting your life on hold. Absolutely. You have to be fair to yourself. You cannot put your life on hold. You need to go out, meet new people, make new friendships, travel, you see? Absolutely. Enjoy every day. Wow. There has been silent treatment because here you see four swords. There has been silent treatment between you two. No communication. You're not sure where you stand with this person. Um, hmm. A lot of you are dealing with the Libra also. And Aquarius. Yeah, you still... There's something in you that is still holding on to this person. Um, you haven't released this person completely. Although I like the fact that you are not... Uh, putting your life on hold, you're living your life, you're enjoying your life, absolutely, you should never sit at home, be sad, or wait by the phone, yeah, as long as you're not waiting by the phone, it's all good, it's, it's all good to be patient with someone, as long as you're not stopping living your life, universe, please show us, and it looks like you got it together, Virgo, yes, universe, please show us what's coming towards Virgo, and how is Virgo currently doing on this summit journey, Ooh, beautiful energy. You have a lot of people interested in you, Virgo. Look at this beautiful energy. Uh, you're surrounded in this beautiful energy. High vibration. Look, people are interested in you, Virgo. Yeah, look at this. People looking at you, paying attention to you. I never like the moon card, except when the sun card is near it or around it or on it. And it just happens, which is very rare that I see this in readings, but it happens occasionally. And here it is one of those occasions. You see the moon card with the sun card. So uh, you've been through a lot of uh, challenging emotionally situations with this person, uh, moments. Uh, it looks like you walked away from them because you got frustrated, you got drained, you got tired. Uh, they have been giving you silent treatments, you see, and you decided you're not going to be chasing this person as you shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't have to chase anyone. If you have to chase someone, that means they're clearly not for you. Yeah, you shouldn't have to chase anybody. Uh, and you're not chasing them. Good for you, Virgo. You're going to see very clearly in due time 
how to proceed correctly with this situation, how to release them if that's what you need to do, how to completely release them, you see. Uh, this is good. Be patient with yourself. This is beautiful. You're learning patience through this difficult situation emotionally. This is beautiful. The sun will illuminate your path, sort of speak. You will see very clearly how to proceed, what to do. Beautiful. Yes. Uh, you are very grounded, consistent, attractive, marriage material. People view you as very attractive. So you have people around you interested in you. Yeah. You are taking care of business, supporting yourself. Yeah, you still, there's a still part of you that is hoping that this person will uh, come around and show you something more consistent. A lot of you are dealing with Leo and Virgo also. Leo again, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Wow. This person has love for you. Let's see, universe, please show us what's coming to us. Fabulous Virgos. Yeah, I see. This is what they've been giving you. In and out. Uh, Wishy-washy energy. So this person has not given you a commitment. They not have offered you anything substantial. They haven't told you how they feel, where you stand in their life. Yeah, that's why you feel the way you feel. Yeah, you are ready for something new, passionate in your life. Yeah, you're not holding on uh, to false hope. You see the situation for what it truly is. You're not in denial. Yeah, you see, this person is checking up on you, keeping tabs on you. They're going to be watching this video, by the way. They're watching you like a hawk. Yeah, they have a lot that they want to express to you, but they have a hard time initiating communication, expressing what they feel, what they want, you see. Um, hmm. Oh, <laughs> Virgo, what's happening here? <laughs> Ooh, new soulmate entering your life. Uh, very different energy from the one that you've been dealing with that uh, drained you because they haven't reciprocated. They haven't told you where you stand in the life, how they feel. They haven't given you a relationship. Uh, yeah. The new person, uh, quite the opposite, showing up as mature energy, grounded energy, a king. You see, that's what you want to deal with. You want to deal with the king or queen. We're not reading genders, though. We're reading energies. So mature energies are of a king and a queen, not of a page or a knight. Yeah. So you see, you are the queen energy. They are a king energy. You see what I'm talking about here. Uh, this new person... Uh, most of you already met them. Some of you will be meeting this person very soon. And you supposed to meet them. Yeah, past life connection. This person will be looking for something uh, serious. They're not going to be looking for flings or affairs. No, they're not going to be wishy-washy either with this energy. This is somebody who is serious about life. They don't want to waste their time on frivolous connections, you see. Uh, somebody who is very attractive, influential in the business community, either have their own successful business or work uh, for somebody or some big important company where they hold a high position. So this person is very much respected by a lot of people and they have grounded, consistent, mature energy. And that's what you want to deal with. So you've been dealing with the moon, a lot of questions, fears, uh, question marks, and you're going to be dealing with the sun where you're going to see clearly, you're going to see clearly where you stand with this new person. You see, they're going to tell you, they're going to show you, they're going to express things to you. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Virgo. That's what you deserve. You deserve a solid, healthy connection that's based on mutual trust. You see, universe, I'm happy for you. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Virgo. Virgo, you are fabulous. Continue being fabulous. Again, you showing up as Queen of Pentacles. Continue taking care of yourself. Continue taking care of your business, finances, job, work, health. Yeah, you see, you're not rushing into anything foolishly. Uh, this is you very observant. This is you knowing that you deserve somebody solid, okay, who's not draining you, but who's offering you a relationship that you are looking for. This is beautiful. This is you 
taking care of yourself, not right. Yeah, you see, they're coming into your life, Virgo. What you're going to do with them is going to be up to you. Again, they're showing up to match your energy as a king, king of wands. They're going to take action towards you. I love king of wands and king of pentacles the best because king of wands is taking action, not being wishy-washy, uh, not keeping you guessing. Yeah, this person is looking for long-term commitment. You see, I love ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles means long-term relationship, monogamous relationship. They're not going to waste their time playing mind games like a teenager. This person is going to actually um, commit to you. Yeah, if you allow it, of course. Yeah, if you allow it, they're going to commit to you. Yeah, I'm so happy for you, Virgo. My goodness. Um, let me see about this person, the new person. Let's see what the universe shows. Um, I don't know if they're going to show you the one that wants to come back. Let's see, or oh, hoping to come back, but although I don't see uh, them being reciprocal. Universe, please show us uh, the soulmates. Uh, whatever the universe wants you to know, they'll show you. Yeah, you see, you've been through a lot of heartbreak and silent treatments. Look at this, heartbreak and silent treatments. Hmm. Universe, please show us... Um, the soulmates, the soulmates of Virgo. What's going on currently with the soulmates of Virgo? And how are the soulmates of Virgo currently relating to Virgo, especially emotionally? Wow. So your person that uh, you've been dealing with that didn't commit to you, didn't tell you where you stand in their life or how they feel about you, they still with the same energy. Yeah. Yeah, still not taking actions. Yeah, holding on to you. Yeah, you see, they don't communicate. They don't initiate communication. They don't reciprocate. Uh, yeah, it's basically like your life is on hold. Yeah, you see? Yeah. This has been nerve-wracking for you to be so drained. Yeah, look at this. You see? Chaotic energy. Yeah, waiting for you to do something. Mm -mm. Checking up on you. Curious what you got, what's going on in your life. Missing you. But yeah, that's good that they miss you. But... What are they doing about it? They're not coming forward. They're not stepping forward to tell you, hey, Virgo, I miss you. Or Virgo, I was thinking of you today. Can we do lunch? They're not doing that. Let me see. Universe, please show us um, what's going on with the current soulmate of Virgo. They do want to see you, but they're showing up as a page, you see? They're not showing up as a king. They're showing up as a page, yeah. Waiting, 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 waiting uh, for a long time. Yeah. Not able to release you, not able to let you go, Virgo. But uh, they're not taking proper actions, so you can't... Uh, Put your life on hold, Virgo. You have to be fair to yourself, you see. In the extended reading, we're going to ask about both of them. The Page of Swords that showed up and they showed up as Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles and Knight of Wands. And then we're going to ask about the serious soulmate that is serious about relationships that showed up twice as King of Wands. Yeah, we're going to ask about them, both of them, and see what shows up. First, we're going to ask the true long-term intentions and plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle these soulmate connections at this time and anything else you need to know about your life. Whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life or go. 
Uh, so click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.